Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Reapy Ron, and today we're going to be going over the builds that I use for the M1000 Classic using each of their overclocks. Let's begin this with the clean overclocks, um, and I will say that these are the builds that I use. They're not necessarily the most well-optimized for hitting exact breakpoints or anything like that. Our very first overclock is Hover Clock. This one is super fun, and you can run it with any build that you like using with the M1000 Classic. This just gives you more utility whenever you either need to stop yourself from taking fall damage um, or you would like to do some trick shots. It's a super fun overclock to use. Uh, the way that I usually build the M1000 Classic is going with expanded ammo bags for extra ammo, going with the faster charge coils just so that I can use the charge shot a little bit easier. And it works well with the hover clock because that's how you trigger the hover clock is uh, whenever you are jumping or falling and are using the focused um, attack from it. In tier 3, I usually go with the killer focus to have even more damage when I focus in on those shots. Tier 4, I usually go with hollow point bullets so that I can do even more damage to those focus shots. And then in tier 5, I usually go with the stun, although the precision terror is also really good with this particular build. This is usually how I run my normal uh, M1000 classic rifle, and it gets the job done most of the time. I'm usually focused on using the focus shots more so than just spam firing it, although you can spam fire and do decent damage towards small enemies like grunts pretty easily. I think you can one-shot grunts um, with the hollow point bullets. I could be wrong about that, but I think if you hit them in the head, you will be able to one-shot them. Our second overclock is the minimal clips. I really like minimal clips. This gives you even more ammunition, so you hold uh, 10 rounds in the gun rather than 8, and your reload speed is slightly faster, which is kind of nice because the M1000 kind of has a, not necessarily a slow reload speed, but not one of the fastest reload speeds either. Just kind of a bit of an awkward one. With this, I usually, once again, go with expanded ammo bags. In tier 2, you can honestly pick any of these. They all work pretty well. Uh, this one, I do kind of use to spam fire, so I'll usually go with hardened rounds or the better weight balance so that I get the recoil reduction. But if you want to go with uh, charge shots, you can go with the faster charging coils. That works perfectly fine, too. In tier 3, I like going with the extended magazine. Now, this says we have 17 and a half rounds, but this will round up so we get 18 bullets in the gun. That is really fun to just be spam firing into crowds or into uh, larger enemies. I really enjoy taking minimal mags for this, and it makes it so we have nine focus shots in total, since each focus shot will take two ammunition. In tier three, once again, I go with hollow point bullets so that we do more damage when we hit weak spots. And then in tier five, I usually go with stun, but precision tear or even killing machine works really well with this. So pick whichever one you would like. Our first balanced overclock is active stability system. This makes it so we have an increased focus speed by 19%. It does make it so our reload speed is a little bit longer at three seconds rather than two and a half. And we can move at full speed when we are focusing. We're going to take the most advantage of that and use this as a focusing build. At least that's how I usually build it. So once again, expanded ammo bags for the extra ammo. Going with faster charge coils. Although this is not entirely necessary, you can go with the better weight balance or the hardened rounds. Because either way, you're still going to have a faster charge time. And sometimes I do like taking the hardened rounds so I can just punch through armor a little bit easier. In tier 3, I usually go with the killer focus. So we do even more damage when we are using our focus shots. Since that's mostly what we're going to be doing with this build. Going again with hollow point rounds. And then with this one, I usually take Precision Fear, although this stun also works really well. This is just a focus build that allows you to move around quicker than you normally would. Our next uh, balanced overclock is Hipster, which is probably one of my favorite overclocks in the game. This increases our rate of fire, this increases the overall amount of ammo we have, and it decreases our recoil. It also decreases our bloom, but we do lose out on 17 direct damage. So we're losing out on damage, but that is okay. There's kind of... I guess three ways to build this. You can either go for all magazine and all ammunition and not really care about the breakpoints all that much, which is super fun to do. You can go with um, high enough damage to hit certain breakpoints with focus shots, or you can go with high enough damage to hit um, unfocused shots, and I'll be showing each of those. So if you want to have this just be a super fun build, tons of ammo and can spam fire into crowds, I go with expanded ammo bags in tier one. That way we have a lot of bullets that we can use. I go with better weight balance so that we have even less recoil, even less bloom, um, and even less spread per shot, so our gun is extremely accurate even when firing from the hip. In tier 3, we go with extended clips, that way we just have 14 rounds in the gun so we can spam fire it a little bit easier. Tier 4, we go with blow-through rounds, or super blow-through rounds, so that we can punch through crowds very easily. And then in tier 5, we go with killing machine, that way we can reload quicker. This is super fun to use, but like I said, it doesn't hit certain breakpoints, so you can't kill grunts as easily with this one as you can with some of the other uh, 
builds that you would go with. If you want to hit breakpoints while still using this type of build, switch over to hollow point rounds. This allows you to hit breakpoints on grunts if you hit them in the head. Uh, you can keep the rest of the build exactly the same way if you would like. Um, or you could go with something like increased caliber rounds if you want to make that a little bit easier on yourself, um, especially at any range. If you still want to run a build similar to this, but you're okay with using focus shots, take the killer focus. I think that this can one shot grunts if you body shot them too. So it's a little bit more forgiving. At least standard runs, I don't think it'll work for acid spitters or web spitters or slashers. Up next, we have the electrocuting focus shots. This one is probably the overclock that I use the least for the M1000 Classic because I find it to be the least useful. Usually I want to use this as either the Spamfire weapon with something like Minimal Eclipse or Hipster, or I want to do high damage with something like Hover Clog, Active Stability System, or the Super Cooling Chamber. This one turns your weapon more into a supportive weapon where you can electrocute enemies on the focus shots. So with this, I usually go with expanded ammo bags just to have more bullets. In tier two, I usually go with the uh, faster charging speed so that I can hit enemies more often. I usually go with extended clips here rather than the focus shot. You could go with the focus shot if you want. It'll just make it so you're doing regular damage then with the uh, focus shots. But I usually go with the extended clip just so that I can use it more often because I'm usually taking this more as a supportive weapon um, and that's how I use it. In tier four, I usually go with hollow point bullets just so that I can do more damage, but super blow through rounds work really well on this too. And then I usually go with stun, that way I can stun an enemy and electrocute them over time. And then our last overclock is super cooling chamber. This gives us way more damage on our focus shots, but our focus shots take longer to use, as well as we get less ammunition and we cannot move while we are using a focus shot. So this is kind of limiting. It makes it into a very unforgiving sniper rifle, but if you are highly accurate, you can get some benefits from this. With this, I usually go with, once again, expanded ammo bags just so that I can make up for that loss in ammo. So we're at least getting to 90 rounds, which will give us about 45 shots in total of those focused rounds. If we don't have this, then we're sitting at 64 rounds, which is 32 focus shots. So either way, we're losing out on focus shots, and that's why this um, overclock can be pretty unforgiving. We're definitely going to go with the faster coil speed so that we can at least charge up our rounds quicker than we normally would. It's still not way great. We're still doing it at 75% uh, as opposed to 100%. So we are losing out there. In tier three, we're definitely going with killer focus so that we get even more damage with our shots. This will just help us more against things like Praetorians. It's definitely overkill for any sort of small or regular bug that you'll see. So anything like a grunt, even a slasher, this is overkill. I think to a guard, this may not be overkill, but I think it still is a little bit overkill. Uh, web spitters and acid spitters, it's definitely overkill for, but this is just kind of to help hurt larger uh, bugs a little bit easier. Tier 4, we're going to go with hollow point bullets, so we do even more damage, because we're really just going to double down on all the damage that we can get. And then in Tier 5, I usually go with precision tear. This is just so that we inflict fear, and we're not punished as hard for having to take the time to shoot each of these. I don't find stun to be super useful with this one. It's still not bad if you only want to use it for Praetorians. So these are the builds that I use with the M1000 Classic. Hopefully this helped you out a little bit. If it did, make sure that you get subscribed. That way you get notifications whenever I post these videos. Special thanks to all the supporters of the channel. If you would like to be a part of this list, be sure to go down in the description below. There is a link there. Uh, to the membership program as well as to my Patreon. Either way, we'll net you a spot on this list. Thanks everybody who does that. If you guys would like to see more of my build guides for Deep Rock, be sure to click over here on this video. That'll take you to them. Thanks again for watching. Hope you guys have a great day and bye.